guys. Welcome to our pre-recorded Saturday night thrift haul. We're filming it live. Zeb's peeking through the lamps. <laughs> I feel um, like I'm in the woods. While you're watching this, we're in California, but we will be on here dropping links. Caitlin will be here and we'll be commenting. We're super excited because this week, I feel like this is really like a high-end home decor. Last week, it was kind of a mishmash and we've had to paint it, which... We do have to paint this, but I feel like design-wise, this is more cohesive. We might have a little bit of a mis mismatch going, but mishmash going. But I'm going to start showing stuff because i got to get it out of my way. JamieRayVintage.com. Click Saturday Thrift Hall. That's where you can buy everything. If you have questions, let us know in the comments. We're going to be happy to answer them for you. Show them the lamps because they're kind of big and in your face. All right. So which lamp is which? Is this So this is one? the 224.95 one. Okay. So these lamps, they're nice and tall. These are resin base, um, but we're going to paint them up. They're going to be looking amazing when we're all done. They have the shades with them. I don't know. They're in good, yeah, I'm going to ship them. They They're in really good condition. Okay. So I'm going to pick a color scheme that meshes well with this kind of tan brownish shade. We're going to make them French country. They'll have two or three paint colors, gold wax, the whole nine yards. They were inexpensive, actually, because last week I paid $10 each for my lamps. And this week we got these with shades for $5 each. Yeah, these ones were a great deal. They will be $224.95 once they're all painted up and good. So the next one were Zeb's picks. Okay, these ones here, this is wood base all the way around. This is turned wood. Um, I'm pretty excited about that because usually we get these and they're like plaster or they're some sort of cast resin, but these ones are actually wood. So they, got, they were $7 each. Um, and they are what the two, two, two forty nine ninety five. They will come with the shades. And my favorite part is the little finial on top. It's like a little, almost kind of like an upside down Fleur de Lis situation. Um, and we're gonna give them a really old world paint finish. Next week we are gonna be painting like crazy because we have last week's thrift haul. We didn't paint everything up. So we've got to finish that, and then we're going to be painting <laughs> this all of this. So There's a lot of painted stuff this last few it's weeks. It's going to be good. I'm excited. Okay. Um, we did get a rolling pin this week. Yeah. Um, if you saw our live stream on uh, Thursday, then you know what we're going to do with this. We like to do the painted handles. We've been painting this up, stamping them. Cannot keep them in stock. The IOD stamps are great. They just roll them on, done. So that... Did, how much did we pay for it? This one was a cheap one. It was $1.50. $1.50. And we sell them for $19.95 when we paint the middle and the handles. They are for decor only once we paint them up that way because you wouldn't want to like submerge them in water. Okay. So this was $2. It had the floral in it. I like the floral. Send, I think I'm it's fine. I'm going to send the floral with it. So if they want it, they got it. We actually used the purple floral for Odelia's table at her banquet, but she doesn't need it anymore. So we'll include it. And zeb got something planned for the lion. This is the whole reason I bought this. The thing was $2, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna mold this so that I can cast this lion head and recreate it. I might actually trim off this and mold it twice. I don't know that it needs to be able to have a hook on it, but the lion head itself is cool. So I'm gonna use our, uh, our amazing mold putty and do that. This, once it's all painted up and ready to go, will be $24.95. So he's gonna make a mold first and then we're gonna paint it up. And how much did we pay for that with the floral? $2. $2. You would pay two bucks for the floral. I know, that was a steal. And we're gonna paint it up and sell for $24.95. It's gonna be great. I will leave, because of the way those hooks are done, I'll leave those hooks in. Yeah, to these me, are they like, make sense. This is like cast iron. Uh, you guys know that head. I don't love hooks and everything. Let me tell you which hooks are not gonna survive. The double loop. Like, is this, does she have both her ears pierced? Is that why there's two sets of hooks? I don't even know. Maybe. <laughs> Well, I like the way that the base looks. We will remove the round hooks and give it a paint job. How much do we pay for this one? So this one five is five bucks. It does have, it's a little, it's a little on the high side of what I would pay for something with chips and nicks, but I liked it. I thought it was a great shape and terracotta. Usually they come round. Um, it's, you don't see a lot of square Round terracotta. like the next one we're gonna show yes. them. So I, I sprung for it. We'll see what happens. It's gonna be $28.95 once we get it all painted up and give it like a really awesome old paint finish. Let's show them these ones. So these ones, you picked up two of them. Yes. 
And they are... These are plaster. They were $2 each. Yeah. That's crazy. I Sometimes the thrift stores don't make sense to me how they price things, but these were $2 each. And we're gonna sell them for $28.95 once we give them a paint finish. If you're new here, you might be like, that's a huge markup. But we use these as a canvas for our art. And we also sell things based off of what their value is, not what we paid. So we could go to the craft store and buy stuff to paint, but instead of doing that, we go to DI or Goodwill and we thrift the items and then we paint them up and make them look a lot better. All right. So moving right along, we're hustling through here. Show them this candlestick while I find room for all my stuff. Okay, so Zeb found this candlestick. It's really ornate and we love these. They sell really well for us. We usually start with a base color, then a dry brush, and then usually some gold or copper. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Good. My son is in the middle of moving, so he's over here with Zeb's truck full stuff. Um, and it's going to be $22.95, and we paid $2 for it, which... I would pay up to five to six dollars for this easy. So I was really excited to get this for two dollars. Um, another, we have two more candlesticks. We have this one we're not going to paint. So when we find the mercury glass, we don't paint it. It was three dollars and we're gonna sell it as is for $15.95. I love to find these and then if I have a few of them in the shop, I will usually group them all together but mercury glass sells so well, most of the time I can't even get two or three in the shop. Yeah, I used to I used to not get them and pass on it and it's so popular right now. I so. love the metallics, like it just looks good. All right, next up we've got this ceramic piece. It's actually solid, which is crazy. You can kind of see on the bottom. I'm wondering if that's what kind of stone that is. Um, we're gonna paint this up, make it look cute, and it's gonna be $15.95 and Zeb paid $2. This is the thing about thrifting that's crazy. Can you give me that ornate candlestick there? Yes. This was $2. Clearly more ornate and larger. Simple, this was $2. But we're not selling them for the same price. This one's $15.95 and this one will be $22.95 because this one is worth more. And people ask us like, how, you do, how do you determine pricing? And it really doesn't matter what we pay, it matters what it's worth. This so was also $2, gonna be $19.95. Yeah, this video. It's about the paint. size. <laughs> it's about the size, it's about the look, it's about what the item actually is. So yeah, this cool finial looks kind of like a chess piece. We'll paint it up, two-tone it, and it'll be $19.95. All right, we have a couple more candlesticks while we're on a candlestick run. These are pressed tin metal. I love painting these. They look so good with a dry brush. So this one was $1.50, this one was $1.50. Uh, I was just killing it on the candlestick pricing this week. <laughs> and they're going to be $29.95 for the pair. So again, we paid less for this one, but we're really just selling them for the same price. Because, or for a low, like a combined price. It's not like we're going to be like, oh, well, this one's worth $20, this one's worth $30 or whatever. Yeah, we're not going to split them up. And because they're tin, um, they're not as valuable as something that's more like a solid, heavier piece. Yeah. That's why they're two for $29.95 and the other one is $22.95, $22.95 yes. for one. Hopefully that makes sense. I know it's confusing, especially when there's new people and we like to share with you guys because we have so many people that are following us that have started in the business or are already in the business and it gives them a good idea for pricing and how to flip things. All right, so we have this piece here. Um, looks like the price was removed. I, That's right here. Oh. $1.50. $1.50. It's $1.50, day today. <laughs> um, and we went to three different thrift stores to find all of this stuff. We, yeah. we kind of got a good haul at one store, but it wasn't quite enough and didn't have enough small things. And we went to another store, still wasn't quite enough, didn't find all the things we want. Then we went to the third store. By the time we went to the third store, we had too much. <laughs> I mean, really, what? explain too much. Okay, we had just enough. Just enough. Uh, so this... Um, is like a vinyl that someone put we'll on stand there. It off. We're gonna zip that off of there. We, I don't even know. We might just leave it raw wood. We might paint it. It's been up in the air on what we're painting and what we're leaving raw wood. This is wood. gonna get painted. Okay. Uh, what's the price on that? So it is going to be twenty-two ninety-five. 
I'll probably do some cool like labeling. We've got a bunch of really great um, stencils. stencils and uh, like fruit basket type stuff that we could put on here in the mini packs and it'd be great. And if it doesn't sell just like that, then I'll up the price and I'll put some canning jars in it. So it that's right another thing you can do. For canning jars? This is a big one. Well, obviously not that one, but you could put like a pint. I'm not, this is actually a really valuable one, but. A this pint. is blue seated cool. glass. Yeah, it's old. We'll show that next. The Atlas. So I looked this up. It's Atlas Strong Shoulder Mason. It's a pint jar. It's in good condition. Has the number seven on the bottom. A lot of people like the lucky number seven. And I looked up this particular antique jar. It's got, it's seated. There's like a big bubble in it, wavy, thick bottom. These are worth quite a bit of money. How much is quite um, a bit? This one is $22, $22.95. Wow. And I got I, it for- Without a lid, I was not expecting that. I got it for, I know. The big ones go for like 40, 50. Wow. I, um, I paid 50 cents for this or 25 cents. How much ever they charge for candy jars? That's, that's, that's like deal of the day right there. I know. I was so excited. So every now and then you get a really good deal on the canning jars at the thrift store. Well, let's talk about the teddy bear a little bit. Um, got a little bit of uh, kitchen fur on it, which is dust with gr grease that's landed on there. If you never heard us say kitchen fur, that's, that's what that is. Um, and we will clean that off, a little degreaser, take it right off. In pretty good condition. I don't see any major chips or dings. Um, and it is a vintage collegiate sweater teddy bear. I did some research. They sell anywhere from $28.95, which was what we're selling it for, all the way up to $58.95. Um, and we almost passed on it, but I thought it was really cute. How much really was it? Cute. Five bucks? Uh, five dollars. Five bucks. And it was in good condition. So cookie jars, even if it wasn't vintage, it's just a really cute cookie jar. Okay, so we've got huge, tall, hermetic jar. A lot of times these are from Italy. I don't see that this one is. This one is wavy glass and it's thick. Um, it does have some damage here. I included a picture of it and it's going to be $16.95. We'll sand that And off. we paid $2. So you can sand glass and make it nice and smooth. It also helps keep it from chipping and makes it usable for a long time. So these are, these are just from Ikea. Um, great color on the hermetic jars. I love that they use the white seal. I love to, I love the turquoise. I actually bought, so they no longer carry these. And when they were clearing them out, I bought a whole bunch of them and sold them in our last shop before we moved. Um, I just really love the look of them and you can't get them there anymore. So They're we paid like a navy like greenish, a like a dollar 50 each bohemian blue is what this yeah, color is. <laughs> pretty close. A dollar 50 each. We're selling for nine 95 each. So we've just got two of them. Whenever I see this color, I always pick it up. I'm sad that Ikea is not making them anymore. Okay, um, cow. Something that doesn't need painted, I'll say. I know, uh, cute little cow. I don't know what Zeb paid for this because the price has been removed, it but it's- a dollar. A dollar? Yes. That's cute. I think we might need to pull, this is like metal grass. No, I'm leaving it. You're gonna leave yeah. that, okay. I'm leaving it. We're not painting it. No. Little copper Look bell. Look at the copper bell. $14.95 for that cow, so cute. You know we love farm animals. We, if we buy a farm animal, it very seldom makes it into the shop because they sell so fast. Pigs, cows, chickens, doesn't matter. May have had some grass under here. There's a little bit of glue, but that, I think for $14.95, that's how it's coming. <laughs> well, I think it's cute the way it is. All right, so we've got this cute little stool. I love the little like key hook. Um, we actually did use this for Odelia's display for her chair banquet too. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna paint it up, put a big stencil on it, and it's gonna be $20.95 once we paint it. I think it's cute. No, it's a great design. You could the stand on it. on it. It's pretty sturdy. Well, let's test it out. Um, but I think it's just cute for vignettes. Okay, I'm like a solid, in my clothes, I'm like 225 these days, and it's not even wiggling. It's super solid. I'm feeling like I'm 6'8 right now. It's been Zeb tested. <laughs> All right, next up, we've just got this cute little like greenery ball. It's $6.95 and it was a buck. I pick these up whenever I find them. They look really cute. Like this is probably too big, but like in little boxes like this, just sitting on top of it. This one. What's this or one like, like on top of this. Or if they're um, round, they look real good. Yeah. What about this? Can we put it on top of this or is that too small? No, that no, doesn't it's too work. Small, that's but like, I think it works in this box. That's like Atlas holding the globe. So it's a buck. We're selling for $6.95. This box is just a handmade wooden box. We're gonna paint it, sand it, get rid of all the splinter situations, and it's gonna be $19.95, probably get a big stencil. Yeah, this is front. like raw cedar or pine. Oh, pine. Yeah, it's pine. Um, that's super rough, so. So we'll probably is. paint it, then sand it, so then we get kind of a chippy look. 
the grapes. Okay. Thank you, Zeb, for buying me more grapes. I, I saw the grapes and I'm like, I'm gonna get this just for Jamie. It's her special gift for the week. It's my gift to the world because I find the grapes and I send them out no more. If you like grapes, I, sorry, I just don't love them and they follow me everywhere. It's gonna get molds on it though. It's got like these really great flat sides. I don't know how many, at least one, but I think I'm gonna zhuzh it up a little bit, paint it, and it's gonna be $24.95 and it's, it's gonna be good. So we got a few pewter things. This this is like a fun little pewter frame with Christ. Oh, in is it. it pewter? Yeah. Oh, I just like the I picture mean, of Jesus. It reminds me of the one my grandma had. It looks like they painted the back, but if it's not pewter, it's it's some or metal. other sort of like metal that's real similar to that. You guys see that? Well, I love the roses the on the top. Focus. We're not painting the frame. We're going to leave it as is. Um, and it's gonna be $8.95, and I believe I paid a dollar for it. Odelia helped me and pulled off some of the price tags, so. There we go. While you're up there, why don't you show them this one too. This is a little cabbage pewter candle, candle holder. It was $1.50, and we're selling it for $8.95. So this cabbage looks like a rose. Cabbage rose. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's cabbage. It's not a cabbage rose, it's like legit cabbage. All right, dollar, it, this is what's crazy. Little tiny candle holder, $1.50. Pewter scallop dish, also $1.50. Like, I feel like nothing really makes sense sometimes. Um, and this one's gonna be $14.95. You guys know I love anything with a scalloped edge. I think it'd be cute with candy. You could put fruit in it, whatever. Like, this is just a really great dish. Pewter is nice though because it's just really durable. Doesn't have to be polished and looks great. So these were three dollars each. These weird oak leaves on the side are like bendable and breakable they're and they're not in great shape. They unscrew, so we're gonna get rid of those. This one has a little bit of battle damage, probably fell off the wall. We're gonna put a point. knobby on the bottom. We're gonna they, we're gonna put some clay and fix it. They do have some eye hooks and this is wood, I think. <laughs> Looks like it's a thin No, this is like probably MDF. Yeah. Um, but got the eye hook, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. They were $3 each. We're not gonna get rid of the eye hook, we're gonna get rid of these. No, this. Then we're gonna paint these, and then once they're painted we'll and the that one's repaired, piece. they're gonna be $34.95. Yep. We love wall pockets. These ones are really cute, and I know they look ugly, but I promise you, they have potential. They're gonna be so great, so great. Oh, I think that's our... Is that your DoorDash Sprite? We got a sick kid. Yeah. Uh, we've been running through the sick kids. Hopefully. All right. I think they figured it out. They're just going to go park in the neighbor's driveway and bring it over to us. <laughs> Always cracks me up. All right. This was my weird there, find of the week. And some people were like, that's not a weird find. That's just awesome. If you, I'm gonna see if I can let this uh, soul searching stare come, you know, we'll see if we can get it close enough because the eyes are kind of creepy to me. But just a fun bust, I think it's resin, I don't know. It might be some sort of stone because it is very heavy. But gonna paint it up, gonna brighten it up, give it a new look. This peachy pink color is not working for me. I don't know about you guys, but just the bust was fun. It was more than I would have normally paid. Oh, wow. This was uh, 6470 at one point, and that's in euros, so I don't know where it came. It's got a stamp on it, so it is, it's like a cultured stone or something that's been ground um, and cast. I don't know, not stone, but not plaster either. It's weird. So it was eight bucks. We are gonna paint it up. It's gonna be $44.95. Again, this is one of those things where like, this is kind of what it's going for on the open market out on the internet. So we're gonna keep, keep the regular value of that. Going. It's gonna be so cute once we paint it up. Sorry guys. Yeah, we've got, we're leaving town and we have one kid that was sick and is healed. So we know it's quick, but then we have another sick kid and another sick kid, so. Good times. All right, so this is, it's like a little finial bookend. We were really looking for two. We could only find the one, but sometimes what is all you need? You got like a shelf, you push it up against the end of the shelf and then just leave this at the end. Um, this was $1.50, we're gonna paint it up. It'll be $10.95 when we're all done. And then. Sorry guys, I just have to make sure that the dog food is still coming. Oh. 
I knew it, pioneer woman. Um, you can just, there's definitely a look to her stuff. And this is fun, it was, um, do you know, remember how much this was? Um, oh, 75 cents. I was gonna say, it was the same price as our other creamers. Odelia loved it, she's like, that's so cute. So We've fun sold design, it exact same one before. Fun design, it's gonna be 9.95. And we've got these two, like just white creepers. They always sell really well for us. These were 75 cents each as well. And we're gonna sell them for $9.95 each. We got our $9.95 bin because this is also $9.95. We've sold a ton of these. They're originally from Anthropology and they're letter mugs. This one's an M. They, got, they, don't have, they don't meet Debbie's two finger standard. They're like a one finger, or no, she, Debbie wants to fit her all four fingers in, I think. Yeah, which is funny because she loves anthropology. But yeah. this was $1.50 and it's going to be $9.95. Whenever we find the anthropology ones, we always Here, let's, let's have a paint or a plate marathon. Yeah, you want to grab all those? Yep. Okay. You can start. So showing. we found. Riverton Deseret Industries, we typically will find our really good actual antique vintage plates and platters, and they did not disappoint this time. Zeb's going to show you a couple did plates up front. Did you see this little chip? Yes, I did put that there were chips in the listing. I'm going to grab these platters too. So super cute plates. Um, they were, how much do they have the price on them? Um, no, they got I think they were lot. like a dollar, 75 cents or a dollar. Um, and they are stamped on the back. Those are from England. Mm -hmm. What's the name on them? Um, Old Chelsea. Old Chelsea. And then what's, there's one. Wilden Ware. Wilden Ware. From Winkle, England. Winkle and Co. England. Lots of words. Um, $16.95 for the pair. And then we've got these plates Odelia also loved. These <laughs> are from Germany, Bavarian plates. And they have the plate racks. I'm going to include them because they were on them in the thrift store. They were $1.50 each. And I'm going to sell them as a set. Um, and they are, how much are they for the set, Seb? I think $26.95? Yeah, $26.95. Let me see. Focus up for me there, camera. So a couple different birds on these. And then more dishes. This one does have chips. I put that in the listing. They're actually not too bad. There is some crackle and stuff in the glaze. This is Japanese ironstone, and it is a turkey plate. It is stamped in the back, made in Japan, and we paid $5 for oh, it. Oh, look at that. It looks like the Johnson Brothers pattern, but it doesn't say Johnson Brothers, so I'm guessing it's maybe just a replica. And it is how much? $39.95. $39.95? Yep. Um, another Japanese ironstone. This one is in the cream, which is a really popular for ironstone. Um, and it's $39.95, and this one was also $5. I buy any kind of Japan ceramics These are big. Ironstone. This one's starting to get some crazing, so yeah. it's older. The way you can tell, like, ironstone is heavy. Like, you pick it up if it's china, and it's, like, lightweight, and you almost throw it over your shoulder. You pick up ironstone, and it's always heavier than you expect it to be. Okay. I found more of these. <laughs> more plates. The last ones didn't sell till we made them over, and then once we did, people were like, oh, those are really cute. So... We're gonna paint these. We're gonna put IOD paint inlays in them and seal them up. Um, how much were they? The price is gone. Uh, they were a dollar each. And we're gonna sell them for $13.95 once we craft them up. All right, this was free. Yes. Somebody brought it by. I don't, they didn't have a name stuck to it, so they, I'm not sure. Do you they, they brought it with the, ca no, I don't remember. They wanted was, you to paint it, right? Yeah, they brought it with the caveat. Maria said that they can't wait to watch us paint this live and see how we make it over, so. It's not gonna happen in this video because we gotta rush off and catch an airplane, but um, once we paint it up, I will paint it on a live stream at some point next week. It's gonna be $22.95. All right, next up, we've got this really great bucket with handles. It was $2 and it's gonna be $22.95. I like the handles on this. This is a good find. The $22.95 is a theme here I'm seeing because this is also, um, if you guys haven't seen what we've been doing with some of the uh, frames and stuff, been doing a ton of stuff with frames with IOD. I put the uh, rooster and hen IOD stuff in the one that was similar to this the other day and it turned out great. Uh, hold on, another DoorDash. We just got to make sure they get Another here. DoorDash. Did you just, it's, they're so fast this morning. Like you just placed that. I was expecting well, it in like an hour. 
they really are dashing this morning. Um, but yeah, this is going to be, this was a dollar fifty, I think. The price is gone. Odelia was helping us as she pulled all the tags off. Um, but the joy is great, but we're going to, we're going to get rid of that paint over it and it'll be twenty two ninety five when this one is done. Um, and then, like, do you just door dash your life away? Only when I'm trying to get out of town and I got sick kids and dogs that need food and I actually have to have Odelia we pick up We were supposed to go feed. do this last night and it was like 10 o'clock and we still had to record this video and we were doing dishes. Uh, it was like 11 before we got into bed. We literally have 10 minutes and we got to go to the airport, so. <laughs> okay, I'll hurry. All right, so. <laughs> no, we don't have 10 minutes. It's. Okay, we have 10 minutes. Because we got, we have them packed. All right, so these are brass. The knobs actually do turn. These are towel racks. They have two screws in the back. These are copper plates. They're a little askew and bent. I'm gonna flatten them out before we send them out to you. Uh, is this $22.95 each? For the pair. For the pair, okay. And they were $1.50 each. All right. So super cute, I love them. Next up, more of Zeb's art. In fact, we'll just we'll just talk about this all at once. All right, talk about Zeb it. Zeb is obsessed with printing art. We I'm gonna have go a new grab, printer. I got some Zeb's printed. gonna go upstairs and grab you an idea of what's gonna be in here. This one, he found an easel for it. So we're gonna paint the easel. We'll paint the frame. We'll put art in it. And it's going to be $28.95 for the easel, the frame, and the art. We paid $1.50 for the frame and we paid $2 for the easel. And then we also have these, they don't have an easel and they're gonna be $22.95. And you get the painted frame, a little bit thicker frame, but you'll get artwork in them. Zeb's got canvas, wait till he shows you the artwork. He has canvas paper that he can print on. And we're gonna be putting some really- This is really... actually on rice paper here. Oh, I rice might, paper, sorry. I may need to brighten this up a little bit. Sorry, we wanna make sure. It out. This is my first test, I just, whipped it out this morning but for this one. But art is really trending, and so because we now have this printer that prints archival quality prints, we can get really gorgeous art printed out and then sell it in these frames. So we're excited, we have tons of art all over the store. We will paint the frames based off of the art. So we find the art and then we paint the frame to match. So you told them about my easel idea yes, on this one. Yes, that right? one is together and those three are separate. Okay. And then last, last little box that's getting painted. This was 75 cents. We're gonna paint it, put art in the middle, some sort of IOD transfer, stencil, decoupage, something. And then it'll be $22.95 for this box. Okay, we've also got this hanging basket. Now Jamie was giving me the side eye when I got this basket. Stop it. She was. I was not. I gave you the front side eye. The front side eye. I never, sometimes I don't know with you what we're doing. Um, I just love hanging baskets. This one, the hook is wrong, so I'm We have 30 it. seconds per item. 30 seconds per item. Okay, go. Well, finish that one. Tell them how much it is. So this one is $19.95. And I think you paid like two bucks? Yeah, it was $2. More pewter. <laughs> $1.50 for this pewter eggplant. I've actually never seen an eggplant dish like this. Um, and it's gonna be $9.95, super cute. Do you I, wanna flip that so we can make sure it's like Yeah, I just thought top. it was cool. It is cool. Um, found these whisks, bought them because I thought that'd be great for milk paint and they would. Turns out they're collectible. So we paid 75 cents for each of these whisks and we're selling them for $9.95. Um, they are vintage whisks. And I saw them way more expensive than that, but I tried to keep them reasonable. Um, next up, Zeb found a letter opener that he's gonna put an IOD mold on, give it a new paint job. That's gonna be cool. Um, it says Baltimore, which sometimes people will buy the little bells that are from places, but typically if it's like a souvenir, it doesn't sell as well. So we're gonna cover that up with a mold, paint it all. We paid two bucks and it's gonna be 14 I mean, I guess if it was a Utah souvenir, it might make more sense, but it's not. So All right, you show painted. them those. I'll grab that stuff that's over there. All right, Jamie loves these blue enamel. There are some little chips and stuff in these, which, you know, for us- All added, the better. That's added value. The, the chippier, the better. They're $9.95 for the set of two of these little mugs. They're like a one cup mug. Okay, $3 is what we paid for this awesome basket. It had some really horrible floral that is already gone <laughs> and I so just bad. chucked it um, once we got home. And we're selling for $18.95. I bought this basket because the wooden handle is chunky and it's amazing. So that's like the best part of the basket. I also love that it has little feet. Oh, there's little remnants there's of There's the some of the moss that's left. Yeah, okay. that chunky handle is amazing. Show them how that spins. 
It's a lazy Susan, probably um, utensil holder. caddy or pencil holder. Paintbrush. I think it would be an amazing paintbrush organizer for your, your Not craft painting room. it, selling it as is. It was $2, it's going to be $16.95. Next up, really great cake pedestal with a filigree edge. It was $1.50. We're going to paint this all up and it'll be $28.95. It's not a bad paint job, but it's got like some weird scratchy distress. So we just It could be better. So we're gonna we're gonna redo it. But look how bougie you could be with your your pedestal paint brush caddy on your desk. If you buy both those items, you too can spin it like that. <laughs> Guardian service. These sell for about a hundred dollars with the lid. I didn't know that. I literally just bought it because I thought it was cool. And I'm like, oh, you could plant in it. Um, but this doesn't have the lid and it's $28.95 and it is like in fairly good condition. This aluminum is really popular, like the big aluminum, like dishes and stuff sell for tons of money, two, three hundred dollars for the bigger ones. So $28.95 and it is stamped guardian service on the bottom. Next up. This was like a last minute. It came out on the cart and I followed the cart for it. I'm like, go get that, go get that, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with three bottles on it, which I thought was really cute. And it was $2 and we're selling it for $19.95. Um, and I just think it'd be so cute with flowers in it. Spring is coming, so all the things to hold the floral. So this little shelf here, it's got like a little groove so you could put a plate on it if you wanted to, but it's got a hook. These are great in kitchens. We used one for years. Um, before we moved here to hang our aprons and stuff on. It's missing a knob. It probably had a big knob up here. I'm just gonna get another knob and put it on there. So we'll figure that out. Uh, gonna definitely paint over this yellow. It was $1.50, it's gonna be $16.95 when we're all finished. It has the eye hook on the back. So it's ready to be hung and it, like Seb said, it's great for aprons. You can put your purse on it, whatever. Um, tell them about your medieval torture device. I got a little bit of guff for this one. She's like, I what, guff, I was is like what is that? I'm like, it's a candle holder, but she's like, but the wrought iron on the bottom with the balls, like, is that good? Because we usually go for like really chunky pedestal type stuff. What I'm like going to do is I'm going to get rid of this little pokey thing that holds the candle on there, paint it up, and we're going to make it into a, like a dish pedestal. I think it's going to be much better like that. Once you explained it to me, I still didn't love it, but I understood the idea and I'm interested to see how that unfolds. Yeah, I think it'll be great. And it's it, going to be $13.95. I paid a buck. You surprise me all the time with good stuff. So this was $2 <laughs> for this cute little trifle dish. My favorite part is the bottom. Like it's knobby, it's darling, and it's going to be $21.95. We'll clean it all up and it'll be great in the shop or... Um, Caitlin's going to be dropping like, links and she's going to have to take a time out after this. She has to take a <laughs> like deep we breath. rapid fire showing you guys stuff. Cute here. little box made with trim. It was 75 cents. We'll paint it up, sell it for $10.95. Um, apparently, this is a very popular deli in Michigan. I think it was Zimmerman's. I hope we're not offending Zingerman's. anybody. Um, we paid $1.50 for it. We're going to paint it up. Yeah. And um, it'll be $19.95 once it's like painted. Like what would have come in there? Like cheese? Yeah. Or meats. I don't know. Meats in a wood? We'll probably sand it because I don't want the Zimmermans to come through and then I'll put a big transfer it's on Zingerman's. top or I'll stencil it. Stencil, Zing transfer, something. Zinger. You could decoupage it. I don't know what we're going to do. It's going to be awesome. I'll do something to it. Zeb has a plan for this box. He paid $4 for this very shabby little box. It's made out of plywood. I just, you know, it's got <laughs> stains on it. Probably been out in a barn, got wet. I just loved it. It's really thin plywood and it's going to be amazing. Someone someone held like their ornaments in this. Um, but I think it's going to be great. All decoupaged up or stamped up and or maybe stenciled. Maybe like a handle or something. I don't know. No promises because we haven't started it. But it's going to be worth $29.95 when we're done with it. It's yeah. going to be zhuzh it, zhuzh it up. All right. So I also gave Zeb the side eye for this because I didn't know what it was. But then I found out it's a birdcage. Yes. So, and I, think I told just them, a dry brush, like a white dry brush yeah. on there. And I think that would really like make it stand out and be better. There's no way I would paint, unless I was spraying it, like this would be a nightmare. So we're going to dry brush this just to give it a white look. And then the metallic will come through. It was $3. It does open. Look how cute. Wait, wait for it. And it'll be $22.95 and you could hang it, I guess. You could do, it's open enough. I think you could do like a hanging candle in here. Guess what? What? We did it. Are we done? We got through the entire thrift haul. All right, no painting today. Like I said, next week we'll be back. We're gonna do a ton of painting. Paint a palooza. Be ready for it Monday or Tuesday or Monday oh, and Tuesday because it's gonna take us a while. If you wanna shop these items, jamierayvintage.com, click Saturday thrift haul. 
they're all in there. If you don't see an item, sometimes it's because it's sold and it goes to the bottom of the list. If you have questions, info at jamierayvintage.com. Yep. And if you like this video, please share it out, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Love you guys. We'll see you next week.